you beautiful people! Welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for joining me today. I am Ree from mummyof4.com and in today's video I am sharing all of the things that I buy from Amazon Subscribe and Save. So I'm going to explain what Amazon Subscribe and Save is all about and show you all of the things I buy and explain. <laughs> why. So if you are new here, welcome, please subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. I do lots of haul videos, vlogs, speed cleans, all that kind of thing. I hope you will really enjoy it. Now on to Amazon Subscribe and Save. What is Amazon Subscribe and Save anyway? Amazon Subscribe and Save is where you order products to be delivered to you on repeat. So you choose the product that you're going to use time and time again, you choose how often you want it, and you are rewarded with a saving because you have subscribed to it. So you can choose to have deliveries every two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, or from one to six monthly. Obviously, depending on what the product is and how much you're likely to use it and how much of it you'll go through. So savings tend to range between 5% and 15%. The more items you have delivered in a single drop, then the higher the savings become. I think at the moment it's when you add five or more items to a certain drop, so they are on the same frequency being delivered on the same day, then you unlock that 15% savings. But I will put the link below so you can check out Amazon Subscribe and Save and their current policies that are relevant to you whenever you are watching this video. This video isn't an ad as such, by the way, but I am an Amazon affiliate, so there will be affiliate links down in the description if you fancy picking up any of these items. I get a lot of questions about subscribe and save and people kind of worrying that they're gonna end up with a big backlog of stuff that they don't need. But what they actually do is send you out an email before your drop is due and it says in that email what is due to be sent out to you. So quite often if I've actually got more of something and I'm not needing replacement of whatever it is, washing, liquid, whatever it might be, then you can just choose to skip that delivery and then you will just be reminded about it when it's next due to be delivered. So I personally have found the system works really well for me. I did originally avoid subscribe and save for those reasons, thinking maybe I'd get better savings if I shopped around or maybe I'd end up with too much stuff, but I've found it much easier. I'm really busy between having the children full time and working full time and trying to fit it all in. I know that I'm not going to run out of some of the basics that I'm gonna show you now. On to what I actually buy from Amazon Subscribe and Save. Let's start with some household items. So the first item is the Method Pink Grapefruit Multi-Surface Cleaner. I love the smell of this stuff. I did try the bathroom cleaners from Method and they smell okay, but I love this. So I actually use this in the kitchen, the bathrooms, kind of wherever really or around the home. I used to have these bottles of the Method Wild Rhubarb Anti-Back Spray on Subscribe and Save too, but I have recently switched to these much bigger and more efficient refill bottles. So I just now buy the refill bottle on Subscribe and Save to fill up my existing trigger bottles. Now, the reason I use both, the Anti-Back, is probably not quite as good at cutting through grime as the multi-surface, but obviously sanitizes a bit more and smells amazing. But you can't use the anti back from Method on quartz or marble worktops, and we've actually got quartz worktops in our kitchen. So I don't keep this in the kitchen, or this one, shall I say, I don't keep this in the kitchen at all in case another family member decides in their wisdom to start cleaning with it and ruins our worktops. So this is for anywhere in the house other than the kitchen. Then the multi-surface I use in the kitchen as well as other places around the home. I love both of them. They both smell amazing and really make me want to clean. I've been thinking about doing an updated cleaning favorites video series. I thought I'd do a cleaning favorites of reusable products and then a cleaning favorites of consumable, which these would come under video. So let me know in the comments if you want to see that video. I did make very similar series a good while ago, but a lot of my favourites have changed since then. Next, under household, yes, we have got some more method. This is also wild rhubarb scent, and this is the wild rhubarb squirt and mop. This can be squirted directly onto the floor, and then you can mop it up. Or you can do like I do, and fill it into something like a Vileda 1-2 spray, and then it's a really, really easy way to clean floors like I've got, which are tile and laminate downstairs. Next, we've got glass cleaner. This is yet another method one. <laughs> I do like method products. The glass cleaner obviously I don't get nearly as much or as often as the anti-back and sometimes I do skip the deliveries of that one but 
this glass cleaner smells so much better than the other glass cleaners I've tried. The other ones, like the star drops and things, tend to smell like vinegar, which are really efficient for cleaning your windows and mirrors, but I just don't want my house to smell like vinegar. When I've spent loads of time cleaning it, I want it to smell delicious and delightful. So although the mint is not one of my favorite method scents, it smells so much better than any other glass cleaner that I have tried. So let me know if there are any other glass cleaners I should be trying out that smell perhaps a bit more kind of fruity or floral. Um, if not, I shall stick with this one because it does the job, it's a good cleaner and the smell's okay. On to laundry and I get some more method on subscribe and save. So we've got the method concentrated laundry detergent, which I use on all of my laundry now. And then I've got the softener, which I only use on non-absorbent items. So I don't use this on towels or wipes or cloths or anything like that because it stops them being absorbent. Then on towels and things, I use this Dettol laundry cleanser. I buy the sensitive version. I think most of our family have got reasonably sensitive skin. So I thought, well, if there is a sensitive version, why not get it? And I just add a capful of this instead of the softener to things like towels, but you can actually use it on anything that you kind of feel need sanitizing. So things like school uniform maybe, especially with all the bugs and germs around in the world at the moment, that can be used to sanitize things even at low temperatures. It says here even as low as 20 degrees. And then I have got Unstoppables on Amazon Subscribe and Save 2. I find if I'm using the softener, I don't really need the extra fragrance. Whereas perhaps if I'm not using the softener, then I feel like I need the extra burst of boost of scent from the Unstoppables. I sometimes pop this in with bedding as well because I feel like that needs to hold its scent for a lot longer. And I really like once I've washed the bedding and I've put it away, when I then get it back out of the drawers or the boxes to put on the bed, which can be a little while after it's been put away, you can still smell that lovely scent kind of whooshing out of it. The next thing I get on subscribe and save is toilet roll. This is only actually one of the five packs that gets delivered with subscribe and save. So this comes in a massive all stuck together pack of 45 toilet rolls. I know that may seem excessive, but there are six of us here. And when everyone's at home, especially through school holidays or lockdown, and everyone is weeing and pooing in our toilet and not using other toilets and say school or work, then we go through a lot of toilet roll, far more toilet roll than I would like to use. Next on my subscribe and save items, I do buy hand wash like this. And yes, this does seem a little industrial, but again, there are six of us. And since moving to this house, cause I used to buy the individual hand soaps and I just felt like we were going through such a lot of packaging and I felt there was a more cost-effective way and environmentally friendly way to do hand wash. So since we moved here, our bathrooms, we have two bathrooms, one upstairs and one downstairs, has a hand soap dispenser fixed to the tiles. And in the kitchen, I've got like a loose hand soap dispenser just on the countertop. So what I do is I fill them up with this. Now, what I actually do is I save the Child's Farm bottles, which I don't incidentally have Child's Farm products that even though I use them for the children on subscribe and save. So I'm wondering, should I add those in or not? Because that is what I use for the children's hair. Just a little thought, maybe I'll go and add that in after I finish filming this video. But what I do is I take the labels off the, the Child's Farm bottles because they're really good for decanting into. I fill those bottles up with this hand soap and then I leave one in each bathroom. So when you get to wash your hands and there's almost none left, you can refill it and decant it from the slim bottle that's been left in the bathroom. You don't have to cart this thing around the house. So this just lives under the sink in the kitchen. And I do feel it's like less packaging than all the little individual hand soaps to use. And it just works out a bit cheaper too, especially on subscribe and save. Now for the last household item before we move on to health and beauty. Now this is my absolute favorite washing up liquid. It's peach and pink pepper and it smells amazing. But now I've got this bottle. I don't buy that on subscribe and save. I buy this refill bag, which is fab. So this refill apparently uses 80% less packaging than two of the washing up liquid bottles and is enough to fill two of these bottles over, which is great. And I use this obviously to refill this bottle, but also to refill my dishmatic scrubbing brush thingy that lives in the kitchen too. On to health and beauty. So I actually have discovered this Faith in Nature shampoo they don't sell it in many of the supermarkets, so I started getting it on subscribe and save. And this is the tea tree version. And the reason I buy the tea tree version is because 
children, when they go to school, get nits. And nits don't like tea tree shampoo. So by using a tea tree shampoo, your children are hopefully a little less likely to come home with little crawly, itching just thinking about it, friends all over their scalps. This is the nicest tea tree shampoo that I found. I have tried other tea tree shampoos, but this is the one that I found is nicest on my hair as well as the children's. So I know I said that I do use the Child's Farm products on the children and I do, but I'm tending to use this shampoo on them and then a different conditioner. And I also use the Child's Farm products in their bath for bubble bath too. Definitely need to make a mental note to go and add those to my subscribe and save though. Not sure I haven't done that already. The next items I have on subscribe and save from Amazon are beauty items for me. So the first one is this mascara. I have mascara on subscribe and save to remind me to throw out my old mascara because I've used it for ages and it needs to go in the bin so I don't get an eye infection and the reason I've chosen this one is because it just seems to be the best one I've found of late for kind of lengthening and thickening. As you may or may not have noticed um, I am actually wearing magnetic lashes but in order to make these magnetic lashes work I need to put a coat of mascara on underneath in order to have the lashes to have something to grip to, otherwise they just slide right off. The lashes I also have on subscribe and save. I have one of these sets every month because I figured once I've worn them for a month, I probably need to throw them away again so I don't end up with an eye infection because goodness knows what kind of gunk must be on them by then. I tried so many different types of magnetic lashes before I settled on these. I tried the kind with the eyeliner that you stick the lashes to the eyeliner. Tried lots of different types of those, didn't get on with them. I tried a few types of this above and below kind. These are the ones I settled on. They're actually accents. They actually only go from the center of my eye out to the edge. And I simply put one up above, one below, and kind of just wiggle them into place. And I find with a little bit of practice, they are great. Now before lockdown 1.0, back when we didn't know the world was going to go mad, I used to have individual lash extensions, which I loved because I wouldn't have to wear any eye makeup, wouldn't have to worry about any black eye smudging. It was fantastic. I could go swimming, whatever. It was wonderful. After everything's allowed and if I'm able to get an appointment, I do go back to doing the individual lash extensions. Then I will still have these. I won't have them as frequently, but I will still utilize these for in between having lash extensions because that way I won't go from having like really full lashes to having almost bald lashes, which is how it seems to go in comparison when you have lash extensions. So these two items are some of my kind of for me items on subscribe and save. The next subscribe and save item is very boring. It's toothpaste. Myself, my husband and the boys all use this toothpaste. I haven't got the girls toothpaste on subscribe and save because I'm trying to get them onto these more grown up toothpastes but they're still kind of bouncing around the strawberry and the move the one up from milk teeth Zara's on now. Big teeth I think it's called but I am trying to kind of graduate them onto more grown up toothpaste and towards this kind of thing. So because the girls haven't fully settled on which is their favorite toothpaste at the moment, I just buy their toothpaste as and when and get this for us bigger ones. The next items I buy on subscribe and save, I'm gonna kind of discuss all together because they are our vitamins. So I buy these multivitamin gummies for adults. They're terribly grown up. So myself, my husband and my teenager have these little gummy bears, which are really, really yummy. And we have two of those a day. Mm. It's funny how when your vitamins are sweet, your children remind you to give them vitamins. I have these multivitamins for the children. And then we also have these vitamin D gummies. Now, apparently in the UK, we're all supposed to take vitamin D through the winter because there's not enough sunshine. I would probably argue there's not much sunshine in the summer, some years. So we've got these vitamin D adult gummies and then these little bear kind for the children. So each day, my husband, myself, and my teenager get two of these multivitamins and one of these vitamin D gummies and the children get one multivitamin gummy and one bare vitamin D gummy. So have you explored subscribe and save? Is it something you use? Is it something you're thinking about setting up? And if you do use it or you're thinking of using it, what do you buy? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel. Leave me a comment down below. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. My latest video is just across here, and another video that you might enjoy from my channel is just down here. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.